Hi, this is where I'm at with the layout. I've completed the overall construction. I've done the wiring and um, for the sake of this video I'll set up a few buildings just to help with the planning aspect. This is actually going to be the main view viewing area. It's of the main station at the middle level. Of course every layout needs its compulsory shrine, temple or castle. Hence this corner. It also hides the Digitrax control. Although I won't be using this during normal running as I'll be using my laptop. I run the trains using a program called Train Controller put out by Railroad and Co. Basically I use three uh, different methods. One is I just select an on-screen throttle, choose the train, set the points where I want to go and run it at the speeds I want it to travel at. The second method is I use schedules which I'll set up and these will interact with each other uh, and various on off buttons will start the schedules that I want. For example, so here we have two trains that are set up and they're both going from one from the subway to the main station and the other from the branch to the main station. The third method I use is by way of a fast clock. This is set up at 10% of real time. So that means 60 minutes on the railway is equal to 6 minutes real time. And I might have trains set up on a timetable to depart at say 30 minute intervals. Uh, the rapids might depart every 1 hour and the limited express every 3 hours. The possibilities are endless and I can also manually run trains while this is taking place. Now I don't think this unit puts out uh, a great deal of heat but uh, to be on the safe side I've put a large vent hole underneath it and one in the cover. Any hot air should come out through the top and vent itself out through the upper story just as it does in the real thing. Now we'll be uh, hoping to have buildings etc so that you cannot actually see everything from one place that you have to walk around and as you do so new things will come into view. I haven't decided yet on the uh, town plan. I do have a tram that I can use and I might put in a, uh, a bus circuit. I'll still uh, to do the scenery, although I have made a start in a couple of the corners. On the front, I've got a couple of peepholes which will show you the subway station once it's installed and to give it a more professional look I've put in a piece of perspex. The subway will be lit by LED so it should stand out quite nicely. The branch station does have provision for a seven car Express, um, although it would only make a rare visit. I do have a five car express which will terminate at the station, otherwise, it's all two or one car units. And at this end, I have put in a trap door which will give me access to the hidden tracks. You'll recall in my last video I had problems with uh, the Kato two car units 
climbing a very steep grade that I have. Now I've since put individual risers under the tracks in that curved area and now all the trains can negotiate it quite nicely except for one. Kato now make these units with only one of the bogies powered by the motor which gives them a disadvantage when trying to get up a steep hill. This is scale speed of 60 km per hour and it cannot achieve the crest. The options I have are to uh, either add more weight, it will then get up at 60 k's, or I could run it up at 100 k's per hour and as it comes out the tunnel I would have to drop its speed down to the desired 60. The track in this area is not yet firmly in place so I might be able to reduce the gradient when I do that. The typical operating session would have a local train running to and from the branch to the main station. This would meet up with another local which would run a shuttle service through to the subway. In addition there would be a rapid service running from the branch through to the subway via the main station. The five car limited express would also run from its hidden siding up to the branch. And the seven car express would do a loop of the lower level. Apart from fitting connectors for the power supply, all the wiring is now complete. There are no major problems. These units control the turnouts. On the first unit, the number three turnout would throw OK, but after a few seconds, it would return to its original position. I managed to track down the fault to the third unit, which was somehow sending a phantom signal. I managed to set things right by resetting all three allocating individual IDs and the address range of each one. I actually had to do that about three or four times before the fault cleared. I had intended to build this layout during winter of next year, but as you see I've already got a little bit carried away. But the best parts, namely the scenery, are still to be done and that's something that I can enjoy. Thank you for taking the journey with me.